this video, I'm going to give you a first-time, first-hand account of Breckenridge, Ridge, Colorado. Definitely going to start the ride here. There's a lot of cool terrain. It's going to be my first time to camp, but the first time I've ever been here. So check it out. We'll see if we can find some cool stuff and go rip it around. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. A little tip for you. you can take that south gondola a lot. maps and doing my research beforehand uh, we'll see if it helps <laughs> if you haven't already please like and share the video consider subscribing if this is helpful in any way shape or form thanks y'all well the bathrooms are like a 10 out of 10 here at Breckenridge let me tell you if you really gotta go you know do your business great spot chair up. We we're over here at the bottom of peak seven. We're gonna go back down and try and head towards the imperial lift. To the horseshoe bowl. So we're just traversing a bunch over this morning. Yeah, we're just going up and up and up. Alright, so I just rode the horseshoe T-bar up. And now we're gonna get off and go to the left. Head to the Imperial Bowl. We're here a little early, so let's go find something else to do. All right, Imperial Chair, we'll be back. Delicious.
All right, we're here at the top of Peak 8. Tallest chair in America, baby. Woohoo! Top the Imperial lift, but uh, yeah, the Bluebird powder day thing never worked out. It's cold as hell up here. It's fucking cold up here, Jesus Christ. The sun's trying to peek its head out, but uh, up at the top of Imperial Bowl is uh, pretty damn cold still, so I'm gonna stay a little lower. Oh, good. nice. The ridge is worth the hassle. Oh, hell yeah. The best on the mountain. Yes, sir, all day. Untouched. Oh. We just came down over there. Ah. 
untouched. Untouched bump. Definitely having a fun over here in the Imperial lifts and that. But uh, dude, that shit got cold as fuck up there in the snow. It's really cold and tacky. It wasn't very fast, so I'm gonna go lower. See if I can get some different shit. Go over here, somewhere in there. Got me a little Irish coffee over here at the Vista House, and seventeen dollars later, just know everything's expensive here. Ah, what a fun day! Just know that if you're gonna go down from the very top, down back to the parking lots and the gondola, there's a trail you can take that'll take you all the way to the bottom. Just keep your speed up because it is a little bit of traverse hell. So I came back to my car, and I guess I was in the wrong parking area. Yo, you gotta say hello there. A little later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got the Chick fil A sandwich and we got the Popeye sandwich. Let me see which one's better. Alright, right away, the Chick fil A sandwich. The bun's not as shiny. I guess that means something, but I like the shiny bun for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like yeah. all the bullshit extras? I guess. On the, on the shiny bun. Right. Got it. Let's see. All right. Let's see what's happening. So, Popeyes. I, I, yeah, I have no, I have seven servings. That is it. Mm. I don't know what you got on that. 
a Chick fil A. There's nothing we can do. So we've been trying these sandwiches. Dropping cameras, trying yeah. sandwiches. Yeah, we're trying to. Shit up. You already know. Fuck yeah. And, um, yeah, Austin, you're gonna have to tell us what the verdict is. We're gonna have to go with Popeyes. Well, Popeyes. Popeyes. Popeyes spicy chicken. Hell yeah. Better than Chick fil A chicken. Way better than Chick fil A. Chick fil A chicken. Chick fil A, son of a bitch.